Shah Nawaz. Uh, in this lecture, we continue discussing the deformation of tracts and homotopy type. So, we begin this lecture with the definition of uh, deformation of tract. So, we have the definition. Uh, let us consider uh, a subspace, say, A of a space X. So, of a topological space X. We say A is uh, a deformation retract uh, of um, what we call, I mean, X. X uh, in the identity map of X if the identity map of uh, X uh, is homotopic to a map uh, that carries all of X into A <coughs> such that each point of A remains fixed during the homotopy. So this each point remains fixed during the homotopy. So in other words, if we consider R to be a retract, So if R uh, from X to A be a retraction, and suppose uh, J be the uh, inclusion map of A into X, uh, this is the inclusion map. Then we say is uh, a deformation retract uh, of X if the identity map of X is homotopic to the map J composite and R. So one can note here, uh, so R is actually <coughs> a retraction of X into A, so this is the map R, and from A to X, we have the inclusion map J, so this is a map J composite R. So if this map is homotopic to the map, uh, I mean the identity map on X, and then we say this X is a deformation retract of uh, A. <clears throat> that is if that is if uh, there exists a homotopy, say H. is Indonesian for hat. So if there is a map, I mean the continuous map, say H from space X times interval 0, 1 to X uh, such that uh, when we restrict H uh, to the point 0, we get the identity map on X. So this is same as id uh, of x which is x so this is true for all x in x and h of 
x1 so this has to be the map and j composite r of x1 can note here j composite r of x so this actually this takes uh, every x in x to uh, the subspace a uh, one can note here uh, if we take an element a in a then this map h uh, takes a to a so note that uh, for all uh, a in a we have uh, i mean h of a t that is going to be i mean h of a1 sorry is a uh, which is actually j composite r of a which is j of now r being a retraction it fixes the element of a so it has to be and this r uh, is i mean r restrict over a is the identity map on a so this uh, becomes a and j being the inclusion map this is a so uh, such map is said to be uh, a retraction map so we not retraction deformation retraction so we call h to be a deformation a retraction let us uh, give an example of a deformation retraction so we have example first so let us suppose b so let b denote that z axis in r3 z axis in r3 so this is the three dimensional space now consider the space consider in the space of all points uh, in r3 which are not in the uh, which do not lie on z axis so then this space i mean this uh, puncture i mean then the puncture uh, plane r2 minus the point uh, 0 0 time is the zero vector uh, i mean time is the zero so this is uh, a deformation fact of is a deformation A retract of R3 minus the set B so for these two spaces to be I mean for the space um, for this space to be a deformation tract of this thing we must have a homotopy from this space to this space I mean so so define so one can note here this is a subspace of this uh, space here so note that the space r2 minus the point zero zero time is the zero vector so this is a subspace of the space r3 set minus b now we define a map say h from r3 so in this case this is a space x and this is a space a so we have to define the map h from x cross uh, the interval 0 1 to x which is 
R3 minus B. So we define this map uh, as H takes a point here. Let us call that point to be the point X, Y, Z. And uh, let us take T in the interval 0 1. So it takes this, I mean, it takes this ordered pair to the pair uh, to the three tuple x, y, and for z, we have 1 minus t, z. So this is our map. So one can note here h is uh, uh, a continuous map. So clearly, uh, h is a continuous map. Now, now let us check what will happen when we put t to be 0. So this is the point x, y, z and t is 0. So this gives x, y, z, x, y, z. So which is same as identity map on uh, r3 minus b of x and uh, edge of x y z at t so this becomes x y uh, and when t is 1 this is not t here this is 1 here and uh, this becomes 0 so this is uh, a point in um, the space r2 minus the point zero zero uh, times uh, zero zero times the zero vector here. So also H fixes the elements of this space. So also H fixes. Uh, the elements of the elements of uh, the space R2, I mean the punctual plane parallel to the plane XY plane, I mean, which is this plane. So, one can note, uh, notice here that H gradually collapses each parallel line onto the z-axis into the point where it intersects the xy plane so note that h gradually collapses uh, each parallel line parallel line into z axis uh, into the point uh, where it intersects in the xy plane So what this homotopy does, so suppose this is our coordinate system, so this is the x-axis, this is y-axis and we have to remove the z-axis, so it is better to draw this axis as a dashed line. So, what it does, so if this is the xy plan here, this 
this is the XY plane here. What it does. So if we take any, so this is the XY plane inside R3. So since this point is not there, so it is better to draw a hole there. So this is the space uh, R2 minus the origin times the zero vector. So this is this space here. Now what it does, it takes any line uh, which I mean it takes any line which is so this line over here so this is L so the L is mm, I mean this is the, the z axis so it takes this line over here it uh, collapses this line down to this point so this is the point where this line intersects with the uh, this plane I mean which is the xy plane but this point being removed so we have one more example here so uh, if we consider uh, a doubly punctured plane so we have example two here so consider the doubly punctured plane I mean a plane where we have removed two points so consider R2 let us raise this first R2 minus this set PQ where P and Q are two points in R2 and they are not equal so it is called the doubly punctured plane so we uh, claim that it uh, is I mean this space I mean the figure 8 is a deformation retract of uh, this uh, space I mean these two figures have same homotopy so then R2 minus the set PQ uh, has figure uh, I mean has figure eight as a deformation tract. So it is, uh, I mean, rather writing the equations, we merely sketch the deformation retraction. So it is a three stage deformation and uh, indicated in the picture, I mean, in this picture, which we have over here. So this is the picture over here. So this is the. Uh, plane R2 minus the point is P and Q so this is the infinite plane where each and these two points they are being removed from the plane so what we do we take all the points lying in this line over here so we um, I mean we take these points uh, on this circle so this line it goes down to this point so all the lines goes to the boundary of this circle so then this figure over here this becomes like this now so we have only i mean we have only this portion over here so 
now we have only this portion over here which is given below now what we do we take these lines and we take the uh, all the points on this arrow to this point over here similarly all the lines on this line to this point so what we get we get this figure over here and fi finally what we does what we do so we take uh, these pointers on i mean i mean the pointers on this line to this point over here similarly we do same thing over here we take all the pointers on this arrow to this point over here so finally it becomes the figure uh, i mean the inverted figure eight so i mean this figure over here this is a deformation retractor of this doubly punctured plane now we have a result so what we proved proved in the last lecture we proved that uh, uh, if we have the inclusion map say j so you, we proved if we have the inclusion map j from sn to the space rn plus one minus the point at the origin so this map induces an isomorphism j star between the fundamental groups i mean between the fundamental group of sn and the fundamental group of rn plus one minus zero so now we want to generalize this result uh, here so we have this theorem over here so it states that so we have a theorem so let a b and deformation retract of x and let us fix some point x naught in a and then the inclusion map so then the inclusion map say j from the space a x naught to uh, the space x x naught so this induces an isomorphism so this induces an isomorphism j star between the fundamental group of a base at x naught to the fundamental group of x base at x naught so this is a straightforward result let us write down the proof so since this a is given to be a deformation attractor of x so we have a map so let h from uh, x cross interval 0 1 to x uh, be the deformation attraction so be the deformation uh, retraction uh, of x uh, on a so therefore if so therefore if j from a to x uh, is the inclusion map and r from x to a be a retraction uh, then the map i mean the int map on x is homotopic to the map j composite r one can note here uh, 
so this j composite r is a map from uh, x to x so if these two maps are homotopic so the inducer uh, homomorphisms uh, i mean the homomorphisms induced by these two maps so they are uh, uh, equal so so then the induced homomorphism which is same as uh, the homomorphism j star composite r star so this is a, a real homomorphism so this is uh, a trivial homomorphism i mean this is bijective and hence uh, this being bijective implies this j star is subjective and hence j star is a uh, subject to i it is the epimorphism well, also the map uh, say I mean the map R composite J so this is a map from A to A is same as the identity map on A is same as the identity map on A i.e. R composite J is identity on a since uh, r composite j of a is uh, r of a and r a being an element of a r acts as an identity map on a so this becomes a for all a in a so if these two maps are equal therefore <coughs> the uh, inducer homomorphism by this map is also trivial so therefore the homomorphism r star r composite j star which is the homomorphism r star composite j star is also trivial so this gives uh, i mean this gives i mean this shows that j star is injective so over here we proved j star is subjective and over here we proved j star is injective hence this proves that so hence the inclusion map inclusion map j star between the fundamental groups of a x naught to fundamental group of x x naught so this is an isomorphism so this proves the result now we have all already studied the definition of homotopy uh, uh, equivalence I mean so let us recall that definition so, so let f from x to y and g from y to x be continuous maps suppose that the map suppose that the map say uh, i mean say g composer f which will be a map from x to x is homotopic 
to the map I mean to the identity map to the identity map say ID on X from X to X and the map say F composer G which is a map from Y to Y uh, is homotopic to the identity map say IDY from Y to Y then we say uh, the maps F and G are homotopy uh, equivalences so then the maps F and G are mm, so they are called so they are called homotopy uh, equivalences and we have proved in one of the previous lectures that this homotopy uh, uh, equivalence is actually a, uh, uh, an uh, uh, equivalence relation now it is straightforward to show that I mean uh, I mean uh, I mean if two spaces uh, are homotopy equivalent so in this case we uh, I forgot to mention over here so in this case x and y are called homotopy uh, equivalent which means that uh, they have the same homotopy so and hence and we say x and y are of same homotopy type so if two spaces are homotopy equivalent they are also said to be of same homotopy type